So before I start my candles, I would like to thank you all for coming, and I hope you're all having a great time. Okay. Okay, it sounds like you guys are having fun. Um, I'm really thankful that you all came to celebrate me, so thank you all for coming. Um, my first candle is for my mom, so I would like you to come up here. Mom, you are my biggest supporter, my role model, and my number one best friend. Ever since I was born, you've given me a life that every kid wishes they had. From the day I was born, you've given me nonstop love, happiness, and great laughs. You always have supported me when it comes to school, and you were my number one cheerleader when I was trying out for the animal and botanical program. I honestly think you were more excited than me when you found out I got accepted. <laughs> Thank you for always driving me and paying for my FFA events so I can enjoy myself and expand my knowledge. Over the past 16 years of my life, I have realized that everything you do is for me. You always make time in your day to drive me everywhere, stop somewhere to pick me up food, or just spend time with me. I love watching the Sterniolos with you, Jersey Shore, Dance Moms, and Survivor with you whenever we have free time. I also love playing Roblox with you and listening to you die as your body decapitates, which happens quite often. <laughs> Thank you for always giving me the best advice and always knowing what to say, even if I don't listen to you. We truly have been through everything together, but we always know that we will have each other no matter what. Thank you for always being my squawking buddy and risking everything for me. I know I don't say it enough, but I truly appreciate everything you do for me immensely. Thank you for being my vacation buddy. I know you can't wait to go back to Indiana in November. I love you to the moon and back. Dad, you're next. like you do right now. <laughs> and you always can spread that happiness with everyone around you. Ever since I was a little girl, you've always pushed me to try my best. You've taught me that giving up is never an option and that you need to overcome the challenges in front of you. That advice has shaped me into the young woman I am today. Without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. I would be failing all my classes if you never explained new math to me in a simpler terms. <laughs> Thank you for always taking me out on daddy-daughter dates to Panera, Bubba Coos, or Chinese food when mom's at work. But I also, leave, I also love eating in when you make your goulash or your squid-infused spaghetti. Yeah. I love hanging out at night when mom is sleeping and watching Stranger Things with you. I wouldn't want to obsess over that show with anyone else. <laughs> Finally, thank you for dealing with my stupid comments and questions. I know they annoy you sometimes, but I truly am just an airhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you as my dad because you are the best dad anyone could ever ask for. I love you more than you will ever know. I love you too, baby. My third candle is for the only person in the world I consider perfect. Nicolette, could you come up here? Are you going to 
You're my built-in best friend, partner in crime, and most importantly, my cousin. From the day I was born, we were inseparable and never left each other's side. Growing up, we hung out every day and did everything together. Mall trips, finding random sticks on the ground, and even dance, even though that did not work out. <laughs> Growing up together always gave me a person to look up to as a role model, and I still aspire to be like you as my life continues. When we go out together, a lot of people mistake us for sisters, even your roommates did when I first met them. They still do it. <laughs> but I take that as a compliment, because that means I'm as pretty as you are. As much as I miss when we were younger, I am incredibly thankful for the bond we currently share. You moving to college made me realize how lucky I was to have you so close, even though you still aren't that far. I love visiting you all the time at college, getting enzos, going on adventures, hearing about Spanish and theology, and hearing your crazy stories about Phil. But I love it most when you come home. We always pick up right where we left off and always have a great time together. Whether we are getting trouble, having a random dance party, or just talking, we always end up laughing until we can't breathe. Some of my favorite memories we've shared are, are the ones, the Target runs, getting in the wrong car at Party City, Sister Antoinette, <laughs> or when we were jamming out to this song and your air freshener fell and gave us both mini heart attacks. Thank you for always being the person I can come to to rant about school, drama, or my, currently, my current celebrity crush, who is currently Spencer Bramucci. <laughs> I can't, oh, sorry. You're the only person who can quote the entire Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie with me. <laughs> Hashtag Roderick Rules. <laughs> I can't wait for summer when we can get the beach house, get sunburnt, and meet cow milkers from Pennsylvania again. Thank you for always being the person I can count on and for being the best cuzzy ever. I love you endlessly. This next candle is for my grandma. So grandma, could you please come up here? Grandma, you have a special place in my heart. We share a relationship that no other grandmother and granddaughter have. Ever since I was little, we've always had a special relationship. We would always go on walks, collect rocks, and color together. Now I always look forward to seeing you on holidays, but I love when you stay with us for the week. Every time you come to visit, we always have a great time together. I love binging movies with you, playing board games together, and getting ice cream from the ice cream man. You always know how to cheer me up with your world famous hugs, and I will forever be your dancing partner. I couldn't ask for any other better grandma. I love you. My next candle is for Grandma Lou and Grandpa Dave. Could you guys please come up here? Don't start crying. 
Although you guys aren't my grandparents through blood, you are my grandparents through love, and I am extremely grateful to have you two in my life. Ever since I was little, you guys have always treated me as your own granddaughter and gave me all the nourishment and love your hearts had to offer. You guys have always made me feel special through the immense amount of love you have for me. I truly cherish all the memories we've shared together over the years and appreciate everything you two do for me. I love you both forever and always. and Uncle Mike. <laughs> made such an impact on my life from when I was a little girl growing up to now we've shared such great memories together and Audra you are my eight-hour horse show partner for life <laughs> you can't get out of it thank you for always picking me up from school when I need a ride thank you for always driving me to the Bronx to visit Nicolette and thank you for always taking me out so we can get food to munch on you were definitely crazy but that's why I love you you always are singing songs that you don't know the words to, <laughs> screaming for no reason, or vlogging, or vlogging your day on Snapchat with crazy filters. <laughs> Going to California with you was definitely an experience. <laughs> I will never forget our trip to In-N-Out, driving on the 405, or our hotel room. I will always, for, I will always be the William to your Chad. Uncle Mike, thanks for putting up with me my whole life. You always are open to hear my bad jokes, made up scramble words, and of course, the unforgettable dumpling story. I love playing Monopoly with you, even though you are a swindler and cheat your way into winning. But you make it up by cooking really yummy food. You literally should become a professional chef because I would be your number one customer. Overall, thank you guys for being such important people in my life. I love you guys. My next candle is for my godfather. So Uncle Ward, could you please come up here? When I was younger, I always used to love coming over. Celebrating our birthdays together was always so much fun. Also, every summer, I would always look forward to coming over and going to the carnival together. We always would watch the fireworks from your porch, and I would always have a great time. That's definitely a core memory of mine, and I hope that we can go back this summer and enjoy ourselves. Thank you for being such a loving uncle. I love you. Love you, too.
don't know if it's lit yet. Nope, it's not lit yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's still not lit yet. Well, we'll take our time. We're special. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I like to call up Aunt Francis, Uncle Billy, and Uncle Santa. younger, I have shared great memories with the both of you. All my life, I've came to your house for Christmas Eve, and I couldn't imagine celebrating Christmas Eve anywhere else. I love when you guys make the seven fishes, even though I only eat three of them. <laughs> I eat one of them. <laughs> but I love your guys' rice balls till death. You both get me so hyped for Christmas Day when we carol Christmas songs so Santa can bring us presents, especially you, Aunt Frances. <laughs> Along with Christmas, I've been at your house for Easter like 13 out of 15 times in my life. You guys always make yummy food and are always, and I always have a great time with you guys. Although I'm 16 now, I will always be the baby. Oh, you will be. I love you, you guys. always will be. <laughs> Uncle Santa. Whenever I'm home and I randomly hear a knock on the door, I assume it's you. I love when you randomly come over out of nowhere, and I know that Landon and Bobo love when you stop by too. Every time you come over, you always ask me how school is or how I'm doing in my sports, and I love you when you do because it shows me how much you care about me. No matter what's going on, you always love telling jokes. Although I might not understand them sometimes, I love that you crack yourself up. <laughs> I can't wait for the summer when you can come over and we can go swimming with Maddie, and I can't wait to beat you at basketball again. You got it. I love you. I love you too. Candle, I would like to call up my cousin Dean and Joey. You guys are very special to me. We share a cousinly bond that nobody else will ever understand. Dean, we have shared funny memories together ever since we were younger. I will never, ever forget the time you sumo wrestled me to the ground after I claimed you would never catch me. <laughs> I literally love that video and watch it all the time. I also will never forget the time my hair got stuck in one of your Hot Wheels and I had to cut my hair. That was literally horrible hashtag trauma. I miss going to the boardwalk together and spending so much money on the games that are literally rigged. I still have no clue how you persuaded me to go on all those roller coasters with you, but you will never see me going on that, suit, that space ride that spins. <laughs> Although we don't see each other as often as we used to, I love catching up with you about school, your band, and your YouTube channel. I watch your videos all the time. Subscribe to him at Swag Stuff with three Fs, otherwise known as Unpaid, studio art, unpaid Artist Studios. I can't wait to hear more stories 
and I can't wait to see what you will accomplish in life. Joe. When I first found out that Tara was having a baby, I was so excited to have a baby cousin. Even though you aren't a baby anymore, I love hanging out with you when we see each other. You will always be better at the hooking than I am, and you'll never fail to fool me with your riddles. But let's face it, I will always be better than you at Jenga. <laughs> Something that we are both good at is the Wii. I love playing Mario with you and Luca, even though he really isn't playing. It is so funny when he yells at you because you killed him. <laughs> Thanksgiving bingo would be, wouldn't be the same without you because you have the best O face out of everyone. <laughs> Thank you for always cracking jokes and making me laugh when I need it. <laughs> Guys, I'm really so lucky to have you both in my life. Thanksgiving and the 4th of July just wouldn't be the same without you two. I love you both so much. memories together and I'm so grateful to have grown up with you guys. Shy, you will always be my number one handshake partner. <laughs> I still have the video of us doing that handshake that one Christmas Eve and watch it all the time. I also always think back to the Christmas Eve together when we did our secret Jesus book, <laughs> which I guess isn't a secret anymore because I just told everyone here. <laughs> Besides that, I love hanging out with you because you can always make me laugh and I always have fun with you. I will never forget the time we were at the carnival and I wanted you to go on the Himalayan with me, but you were too scared. I made you go on it anyways, and even though you were screaming the whole time, I had fun. I'm making you go on it with me this year if we go back. Hopefully you will actually enjoy yourself this time. <laughs> Thank you for all the memories, Shy. I love you. <laughs> You're my favorite person to snap. <laughs> Although we don't see each other as much as we would like to, we talk every day on Snapchat and I love hearing about your day. You're one of the most crazy and YOLO people I know. <laughs> but I love that about you. You're either always playing basketball, jumping off of things that are way too high, <laughs> or backflipping into the pool. Yep. I'm so proud of you for accomplishing everything in your electrician program and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. I can't wait to go I can't wait for the summer when we can go swimming, get Rita's, go on rides together that Shai is too scared of, <laughs> and play basketball so I can beat you this year. Yeah. Good luck. Also, I'm very sorry to bring this up to you, oh but I will always be taller than you, and I'm not even wearing heels right now. Oh. I love oh, you. You're in heels, though. You're in heels, aren't you? Oh. very important candle. This candle is dedicated to my cousin Vincent, so I would like to call up his fiance Brittany and daughter Madison. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> this is 
one of those events that you should be at. God's army and as the days go on I miss you more and more. I always think back to the memories we shared together like the time you were sitting across from me on Christmas Eve chewing on a snail like it was a piece of gum <laughs> trying to convince me it wasn't that bad. I eventually tasted it and it it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> now every year on Christmas Eve I eat a snail in your honor and believe it or not I actually like them. <laughs> Christmas Eve is different now that we don't have wrapping paper fights. We don't look for the pickle in the Christmas tree and that you don't care until the 12 days of Christmas anymore. No one will ever understand how much I miss you and how often I think about you. Even though you aren't here anymore, you left me with your beautiful fiance and daughter. Brittany, when I first met you, I knew you were the one for Vin. You were a pretty young girl and a kind, girl who knew what she wanted in life. You always make the effort to come to family events, and I'm so grateful I get to spend time with you and Maddie. I knew, no, I'm sorry. I know you will make it far with nursing, and I will always be by your side to support you in the long journey that's ahead. And for you, Miss Maddie, you are a little bundle of sunshine. You always make me smile when we sing our songs together, jump on the trampoline, and play with my dolls. You remind me so much of your dad, and I know you have a bright future ahead of you. Vin, I know you were always with me in spirit, and I notice the signs you give me. I love talking to you in my dreams because it reminds me that everything will be okay and that we will <laughs> and that we will be together again someday. I know you were listening to me right now, so party it up with us tonight. I love and miss you so much. is for Alexandria and Devin. Oh, you're right here. Hey! I'm sorry. <laughs> to begin, I'm so grateful you two flew all the way from Texas to celebrate my sweet 16. I feel bad that the rest of the family couldn't make it because I would have loved to see them. Every time I'm with you guys, everything else leaves my mind. I always love when you come up for holidays, but our trip to Galveston together is a vacation I will never forget. Same. Every day for a week straight, we would see each other. We would fish off the pier, swim in the ocean, and catch crabs. Well, we tried catching crabs, but, <laughs> but Josh and my dad forgot to close the cage, so we actually caught nothing. But we really tried. 
Devin, I loved hanging out with you for the week. We slept in bunk beds, played with your slime, played with your dolls, and saw that really big bug on the wall. And then we stayed up till 1 a.m. every night, just talking about life and playing games together. After visiting you guys twice so far in Texas, I have had a blast and fell in love with the state. I am considering going to college there, but who knows. Woo -woo! I really hope we can do another vacation like that in the future because it was so much fun. I love you guys. Yeah, baby, roll tide. But seriously, after this, I'm sorry. <laughs> you help her, baby. Go ahead, help her. My next candle is for Billion Morgan. You guys are my favorite party animals. No party starts till you two show up, and no party ends until you two are the last people out the door. Ever since I was little, Billy was always the cousin who could make me laugh. Your random jokes that I never seem to understand, side comments, and contagious laugh never fails to put a smile on my face. I think you should become a full-time comedian. <laughs> when I first met Morgan, I knew you guys were perfect for each other. You were just as crazy, loud, and fun as Billy is. I'm beyond happy that you guys are married now, now and I'm so grateful that you guys had me read at your wedding. I can't wait to see what God has in store for you guys. Hashtag, I will always be the baby and not you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Oh, well, let's do this. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm a candle short. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, yeah. I'm good. He's a fireman. Oh, okay. That's why I get things. Oh, yeah. This next candle is shared for my boys. So, could Sean, Chris, Riley, and Nate please join me up here? The first one's for Sean. Sean, I've known you the longest out of the gang. I can't exactly remember when we deci finally decided to talk to each other and become friends, but I truly cherish the unbreakable bond we share. The first memory I can remember between us is when we were on the same t-ball team when we were like six. You would always dig your foot in the, in the dirt out of boredom. Ever since then, we've created more memories. My favorite memory we share is elephant cloud, duh. But I will never forget the time I ran over to your house for one singular piece of bacon, or for the time we stayed up till 11 making an insane igloo. You're literally so smart and somehow know the answer to everything I ask you, but I think it's because you're a Boy Scout. Although you annoy me quite often, don't take it personal, because I can never stay mad at you, because I can't afford to lose a friend like you. I can't wait for the summer when we can hang out every day and have no cares in the world. Thank you for always being my walking buddy, board game partner, and crazy sneverous Snape. You are one of my best friends. Oh, and thank you for being one of my best friends for so long. I love you, Swanee. Yeah. Chris, when you first came over my house, I was skeptical of you. You were the new kid in the neighborhood and you had a really scary blonde dollop on the top of your head. He did. 
I was worried you were gonna ruin what the neighborhood gang already had, but now that, but now I can't imagine the neighborhood gang without you in it. You've become one of my best friends, and I'm so grateful that you moved into the neighborhood. We've created so many mem memories together from hanging out all the time and being stupid together. I will never forget the time you annihilated an absolutely gigantic wasp into pieces after it landed on your nose. But then you proceeded to jump into the pool and break your finger on the concrete. In that moment, I thought you were so stupid because how can you break your finger jumping into the pool? It turns out I was the stupid one though because the next day I went over your house and broke my thumb on your mailbox because I don't have hand-eye coordination when it comes to volleyball. I honestly don't know anyone more obsessed with Landon than you and my mom. And I really think that he loves you more than he loves me. I love how FFA stands for free for all in your world. But I thank you for always supporting me in the FFA and for always listening to me rant about it. I can't wait for summer when you don't have volleyball every day and we can actually hang out. We can also go butt boarding again. <laughs> thank you for putting up with my craziness and being one of my best friends for the past few years. I love you, Chris. Riley, I honestly can't remember when we first met, but I am honestly so happy we've grown into great friends. Over the years, we've shared great memories together that I wouldn't trade for the world. Every time we hang out, I never know what to expect. You always end up making the hangout insane. Whether or not you're doing an ultimate cannonball into the pool or a world record burp, you can always make me die laughing. <laughs> going to township with one of my closest friends made me less scared for high school. I think that going to the same school definitely brought us closer. High school wouldn't be the same without Big O' Friday or you driving me home from school all the time. I love our random jam out sessions in the car before your dad meets us. And I truly can't imagine high school without you. Thank you for being such a special friend to me for years. I can't wait for senior year when we could be driving buddies. I love you. You did get an I love you. Nate, when I first met you, I thought you were really weird. It still is. You were this random kid who just appeared in my backyard one day, and I didn't know what to think of you. But after playing hide and seek with you for a good 15 minutes for you to finally find me in the garbage can, I don't know what I was thinking. It smelled really bad in there. Um, I had confirmed that you were weird, but I also realized that we could possibly form a friendship, which we did, but we turned our friendship into a special bond. Whenever you come to Howell, we are always on the same page and down to the most stupid and crazy things ever. Whether or not that's dancing in the street, screaming songs on the top of our lungs, or laying in the back of my dad's trunk, we always enjoy each other's company. Although you don't come to Howell as often, when you do, that often, sorry, when you do, we always have a great time together. I truly cherish all the memories we've created the past few years, and I can't wait to create more as our friendship continues. I love you. My next candle is for Lex. Your speech made me cry at your suite, so I hope I am able to make you cry. And it looks like you already are. You are my brother, the Mario to my Luigi, and you have been for the past eight years. When I first met you in third grade, I had no clue you would become my best friend. But the moment you told me you were moving into the neighborhood, I knew our small classmate friendship would turn into a brotherly bond. 
I remember the first time we hung out and we made slime, which was absolutely <laughs> terrible. But we eventually became the ultimate slime doctors. And ever since then, the memories kept growing. Over the past eight years, we have had hangouts till 2 a.m., countless sleepovers, and most importantly, beat Super Mario Bros. twice and almost beat it three times. I truly love and cherish all the memories we've created together, but some of my favorite are the Scarlet Steph, Matzo Cracker, our quilt, playing Roblox, making it jingle, shake it up, making movies, one day, and everything having to do with Mario and Luigi. To be honest, going into freshman year at a new high school was difficult without my brother. I was afraid our friendship would die out and that you would make new friends at Howell. But honestly, who am I kidding? There's nobody at Howell you would voluntarily be friends with. <laughs> I honestly think that going to different schools made our friendship stronger, and I love telling each other our school's gossip. I know I will always have you as a shoulder to cry on when life gets rough, but I know we will both achieve great things in life. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. Thank you for being my person and my BFF NMW for the past eight years. I love you. myself. It represents me. It represents everything I've accomplished. It represents my gratitude to have all of you in my life. It represents how grateful I am to be here living in this moment. It represents my courage. It represents my strength. It represents my dedication. It represents my very loud personality. It represents my kindness and it represents my happiness and represents my love for my family and friends. But enough about me. I want to get back to partying. So, to end off my carol ceremony, I would like to quote King Pipple himself. <laughs> like a stopwatch, let's stop time and enjoy this moment. Dally! Yeah!